Frick. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? I was capping. I was lying. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. Oh my God. That's Rana. Bad. Yeah, you froze. She bad. You, fro you froze. She bad. Yeah. Also, I don't know. Capital B, capital O, capital A, capital F, both. Also, I don't know. You don't like my aesthetic. Shut up. You're going to like it today. Subhanallah, ما بحبش الذهب خالص 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 ما بحبوش ما شاء الله عليك بجد يا ريت فعلا كل البنات تبقى زيك لا هو انا بحب الالماز and remember never compare your life with the ones who enjoy haram even if it may seem as if they are more successful or happier, nothing in this world is worth losing your Dean and Akira over. Basically speaking, we've answered this before, perfumes that have alcohol are totally prohibited to drink. The Sheikh who would drink it? So you tell me. Applying it externally is totally permissible. Oh, but it contains alcohol. So what? Show your childhood crush and then the person you ended up with. The hadith is weak. The hadith is extremely weak. In fact, it's so weak that some scholars said it's the complete lie. They declared it a fabrication. So there's no army that's coming from Khorasan with big black flags. Mahdi is not going to be part of it. This is not one of the signs of the Day of Judgment. This, at most, is a weak hadith, and at worst, it is a lie. And among the illnesses of the heart, among the bad things that Islam came to purify us from, is what is known as selfishness. It's an illness, it's a disease. However, the majority of us, one way or the other, have it in them. Bro, 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 I heard his name is Adam. We gotta learn more about him. Yeah, we do. All right, all right. Let's, let's go ask people in the community. Out. Hey, bro, bro, do you know anything about this guy named Adam? Oh, Adam, the guy that leaves Taraweeh every night, the 20 rakat? Huh? huh? Oh. La ilaha illallah. Do you know anything about Adam? The guy that helps with me with algebra homework every single day. You're lying! Oh, wait. You're lying! Mm -hmm. Nah, do you know anything about him? The, the guy who pays for my college education. Wow, you're like eight years old! There's no way! There's no way! The guy that uh, saves the parking spot for Fatima's dad every night? La ilaha illallah! He's won, bro. He already won. The question today is, what's the greatest blessing which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us? So what do we say? Alhamdulillah for? الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام ونعمة الصحة ونعمة أمن والأمان
here the dumbest bitch and with the biggest heart. I love, love, love that. If you're a Muslim girl and you plan on wearing a hijab one day and you don't wear it right now, then take this as a sign to not post on social media. Because then you're going to be like this stupid girl and all people have to do is type your name and they can see photos and videos of your hair and you wearing revealing clothes and there's nothing you can do about it. And then literally every day you're going to be fighting the battle of why the hell am I doing this when all people need to do is type my name in. So why am I hiding it? Like what's the point? You're just going to feel like one big fat failure. I just realized that I can now do that transition video where it's like, he won't be the one to cry, I, ow. I just realized something as I was driving. If you are someone who from birth just knew exactly what you wanted to be and you just did all the necessary things to become that person, how? How do you do that? I change my mind every five seconds. I want to be everything. Let me explain. When I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut. And then I found out that not all astronauts get to go to the moon. And I was like, mm, that's kind of lame. I just wanted a free trip. So then I decided I wanted to be a model. I'm five foot five. That's not going to happen. So then I decided I wanted to become a fashion designer. Then after that, I decided I wanted to become a doctor, specifically a dermatologist. I went and I did all the necessary things. I got into studying medicine and lastminute.com, I changed my mind and I had to take a gap year because I had changed my mind so many times and I didn't even know what I wanted to do. Then when after the gap year, I studied biomedical chemistry. Why? I don't know. Then I got into trading. I was a trader. I was public speaking. I was doing all that kind of stuff. Then after that, I started a brand and now I sell clothes to women to help them feel powerful. You see? So this Christian lied and impersonated being Muslim so that he can enter the Haram. And in his caption, he tries saying that he conquered Mecca. But my friend, you dressed like a Muslim, said you were Muslim, prayed like a Muslim, and impersonated an entire Muslim identity. He thinks he conquered Mecca, but the truth is that Islam conquered him. The irony. And how delusional do you have to be? to enter the haram and still miss every single sign that God threw in your face. And something else that was so ironic. Now, if you choose to go on his IG, do it under your own discretion. He has a lot of very filthy things on his page. But his entire account under his Christian identity is no different than any other kafir. The most pious he looks in any of his photos is literally when he pretends to be Muslim. What if I told you guys there are people on the face of this earth whenever they need something, it comes to them straight away without them even asking Allah Azza wa for it. This is no myth. And you know why, brothers and sisters? Because Allah says, Be someone who remembers me and I will make mention of you. Even without uttering anything because they are always remembering Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala treats this individual in a way where you are always remembering me. So you need something, here you go. Is it difficult, my brothers and my sisters, while we are driving to keep our tongues moist of Allah's remembrance, to say astaghfirullah, 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 astaghfirullah. You know, there's that hadith easily become one of my favorite hadith. If you feel that you are someone who's struggling with these acts of worship, it's becoming too much of a burden. A man came to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, all of these obligations have become too much for me. Give me something that will help me with these obligations. He said, La Keep your tongue moist of the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. Breaking news. So previously you were only allowed to take Zamzam water from Jeddah airport if you had a Umrah visa. And most people coming here from the West were coming on tourist visas and unfortunately were getting rejected Zamzam water at check-in. That said, there were some airlines like Gulf Air, for example, that were allowing Zamzam water even on tourist visas. But I know a lot of people on other airlines like Emirates, for example, that were not allowed Zamzam water. Well, I was just checking in right now, alhamdulillah, for my fly Dubai trip back to the UAE. And I asked if I was allowed to take Zamzam Muta, and he said yes. So I asked, how come? I thought it wasn't allowed. He said, no, there's actually been a rule change one month ago, which means that even on a tourist visa, you are allowed Zamzam Muta as long as the primary purpose of your trip was to come for Umrah. So yeah, now you're allowed one Zamzam per person. A quick note though, if you're traveling with an infant, they don't get Zamzam water. Uh, if you're traveling with a child who's over two years old and has their own seat, then they are eligible for Zamzam. So it's per person and infants don't count. If 
I get this in, you have to wear a jabab all day tomorrow. Bro, in public too? Of course. <gasps> what color do you want? Black, navy, green, or baby. <laughs> choose your poison. No, 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 no. I buy it. Do I song? No, I buy it. No, please, no, please, no. Freak. Um, if I get this in, you have to reply to everyone. That's because I'm a refugee, isn't it? You literally cheated and you still missed. <laughs> If I get this in, you have to you have to call me Zaddy for the for the rest of the day. No, <laughs> no. You have to say it. You have to say it. You have to. You have to say it. You can't cheat. You can't cheat. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, ma la tuakhud nabi ma faala subha wa minna. Ya Allah, anta alim al basi. Ya Allah. If I get this in, Zaddy. If I get this in. <laughs> Zaddy. Who's a D? Zaddy. <laughs> you have to stop flirting with me. <laughs> you're literally. You're such a hypocrite, bro. You're such a Munafika. Munafika's <laughs> crazy. If I get this in, you have to go to a doctor and get diagnosed with ADHD. Son, bro, you have to go to a, an animal house to hospital. If I get this in, you have to say yes to everything I say, Zaddy. <laughs> no. If I get this in, you have to say yes to everything I say starting from tomorrow all day. <laughs> Why did I say starting from tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. You got to <laughs> Yeah, she said, Wallahi, like Fatima. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everyone, come do a jilbab haul with me. So a few weeks ago, I placed a $700 order with this beautiful website. I will also tag them down in the comments. And yes, the order was huge because I am now a full-time jilbabi. So I just kind of splurged on this. But needless to say, I did buy, I think like 18 different items and after mixing and matching, I could make about 50 to 60 different outfits. Now, I'm going to be reviewing everything that I got from this website. And needless to say, because it's a lot of items, it's going to be a longer review. Most likely like a three or four parter. So if you are looking for a place to buy cheap, affordable, yes, affordable, because there are girls out here charging $66.00 for like one set and then like 45 for a khimar, then I definitely recommend you stay and watch this review. I'll just be doing a voiceover with my review on each outfit. And for the sake of time, I'm only going to show the sets instead of trying to mix and match with each other. Here we go. So the first one I got was obviously a classic black two set. It is crepe material. It's very light and comfortable and it is a one layered khimar. Overall, very, very satisfied with this. It was very comfortable and it's a classic. So the second one I got is like a top or like a tan colored one piece jilbab. I absolutely love how it came out and I've actually never encountered this type of fabric. It's like a mix between chiffon and crepe. Very comfortable. So this third piece is like a mauve tannish color. It's a two piece with the khimar being one layered. It's absolutely gorgeous and the fabric is like a mix between chiffon and silk. I'm actually absolutely obsessed with this two-piece one. It's one of my favorites. Also, the abaya comes with a zip-up and the sleeves are connected instead of balloon, which I think makes it so gorgeous. So this third one, you might have actually seen it in a few of my TikToks, but it is a sage green two-layered khimar. This is a set and it's one of my favorite. The material is crepe and I honestly love the crepe material because it's light and comfortable, especially on hot days. So for this one, before you guys absolutely drag me in the comments, I'm not a hooligan, I promise. I just didn't iron it after I washed it. So I know it looks ice blue on camera, but it's actually like a baby blue color. It's one piece and I absolutely love the design on the sleeves. 
Also, the like chimar part is not actually a chimar, it actually hangs, and so I had to actually hold it. In other words, it's not the type of chimar that's meant to stick. This next one is a gray set. This one is a set. They're both crepe material, very light and airy. I absolutely love it. One layer chimar, and gray is a staple color, which is why I got it. So the next one, I'm actually just trying on the chimar. I didn't feel like taking off the abaya. The chimar is a three-layered baby pink crepe fabric chimar. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I love it. So this is a three-layered chiffon one. It's like a white lilac color. I've honestly never seen the color before. To say the least, I'm obsessed. Part two for the rest of the review.